Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and Disneyland is starting to survey annual pass holders about the new membership options there they are considering and we're going to break down some options they're giving us right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first screenshot. These are from Imagination on Twitter. And as you see there these also aren't confirmed by the way. They're just they're playing with ideas. So and then you see under the first passport column, it's twelve hundred dollars, and they say parking is not included. Again, that's not an official thing. They're just playing with ideas here. So here's under this first screenshot, they're playing with the idea of three different passport potentials and a three-day multi-visit ticket. Now, as you see, these passports have different reservation windows and uh, different uh, amounts of reservations that can be held at one time. And even different anytime reservations. So, for example, looks like this first one. There's it'd be for ninety. You can the reservation window is ninety days, which is three months, and you can have a reservation, two reservations held at um, at a time, and two re anytime reservations per year. I'm not sure that any. I think an anytime reservation is the what you can make a reservation on a blockout date. I'm, I'm guessing that's what an anytime reservation is because the other ones you see they have none and then for what would most likely be the most expensive pass you would have two anytime reservations which means you can probably make a block out uh, two, two times you can make a uh, reservation on a block out date which is it's a, it's interesting it's, I like that concept um, the other passports as you do playing around with about six day a 60 day or two month reservation window and four, six reservations out at a time. Um, blockout day tickets. Oh, so yeah, see, blockout day tickets two, which I think that's that. I think that again that coincides with that anytime re reservation for two a year for blockout day tickets. Then I like the idea of family and friends tickets, like. 10% off two family and friends tickets or 20% off two and family and friends tickets or maybe with the, the highest level passing but like one or two family and friends tickets included per year or something um because that, that's it because most other parks like again Universal or I'm not sure about Universal but definitely Six Flags they're known for their family and friends bring a friend day stuff like that and I believe SeaWorld may do it as well so it's nice that Disney would be in this game as well. And the typical merchandise discounts, 30%, food and beverage, 20%, stuff like that. And special event tickets discount. That's interesting. It's funny how I guess they're considering it, but looks like they're not considering it as they uh, put none, none, none. But uh, that'd be cool. Special events t ticket discount, something like... Uh, Disneyland After Dark Star Wars Night or something, you get a 50 or 20% discount, would be pretty awesome. And I like how for the parking, they're instead of just being included or not included like in the annual pass program, they're considering maybe for lower passes a 20 or 50% discount. And I'd, I'd hope it would be included in the highest annual passport or membership, whatever they're going to call it. Max Pass and Photo Pass, and looks like it's cool that Max Pass and Photo Pass will be included. It looks like here at no additional cost with the pass with every every membership type, assuming they they stick to that. And photo, yeah, it looks like looks like it will be like a no additional cost. That would be quite helpful as well. And again, they they're asking the the surveyor. To, if they're interested in these options, like I guess these pa specific passports, how many would you be willing to purchase? So I guess this one would be the first one. It would be the parking not included, and uh, that's just silly. So I, I'm glad this person, their imagination, didn't put that they would buy one of those because I don't know why you spend twelve hundred dollars and have parking not included. That's just silly to me. But yeah, so that's. What's going on with these first set of options here? And then there's a three-day multi-visit ticket, which looks like you just have a four-month reservation window and none of this, none of this other stuff applies um, as well. And then one-day, two-day, three-day ticket. Of course, there's no blockout dates, but you still have that 
four month window to make a reservation for that. So that's the first option, but let's move on to the next option here. All right, moving on to the next set of options in the survey here, we have three different types of passports, but this time a five day multi visit ticket and then the typical one day, two day, and three day tickets, which are the same, just the four month reservation period and no block updates. So it's a pretty simple, but let's still start at this first column, column to the left. This passport is a little bit different than the last one. We have 60 day reservation window two months, then you get four reservations held at a time in that time, and then four, um, oh, see, this is interesting, though, because this one says any time reservations, four per year, but then block out day tickets as one. So, I don't know if those coincide anymore. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you guys think of dude, the block. What is an any time reservation? I thought it was you can make it on a block out day. But it says you get four per year, but then you can only do it once. That would make sense if those coincide. So I'm not too sure um, what an anytime reservation is. But please uh, let me know your opinions in the comments below. But this one would be family and friends tickets. You get 50% off two tickets, which is I think is a, that's pretty awesome. I would do that, but I like the the next passport. You see two tickets included, which is my personal favorite option. The merchandise and special uh, merchandise discounts are ten percent. Food, beverage, ten percent. This one you get a twenty percent off special event. So something like again, the Disneyland After Dark series or Mickey's Halloween Party or something like that or Oogie Wig Bash. Parking again is not included in this one, but you get max. This one you get max pass, unlimited unlimited photo pass. And a dedicated entrance. I like the dedicated entrance as well. Although, it's never too long the line in my opinion. I mean, sure, sometimes can, the lines can stretch with espionage. But, I don't know if it's ever too long the line where I'd want to dedicate or need a dedicated entrance. But the rewards program, as you see, it's offered in the next pass option. That, that is... um. I'm I'd be very curious to see to hear what that's about. Maybe like um you get maybe a hundred points for each time you go and then after ten times or when you get to a thousand points you maybe get a new maybe get a, a bring a friend ticket or something. Or maybe you have another block out day ticket or something. That'd be kinda cool. Um but yeah, so I like I like this I like these features that are doing at the testing out again these are no these are not confirmed they're just throwing out ideas and throwing out price range and seeing what people would buy um i hope again the rewards program and even the, maybe even the dedicated entrance stays but the five day multi-day ticket again you just have four months to use that um that option there there's no other thing that comes with that the next passport next to the five day multi-day ticket you have a four month reservation window. This one you can have six at a time, six reservations at a time, six anytime reservations, two block out day tickets, and then two tickets included for your family and friends, 20% off all the food, merchandise, and special events, but then a 50% discount off parking, and then you get the rewards program, the dedicated entrance, and the unlimited photo pass, which is cool. Now, it looks like it's the same price. They're, again, it's kind of the same price as the other one, but again, there's kind of testing out prices and testing out features. And if you go to the next one, this one's back to 60 days, um, four reservations held at a time, but then six anytime reservations per year. See, I'm sh not quite, quite sure about those anytime reservations. One block of day ticket, 10% off, two tickets for family and friends. 10 to 20 percent off the special event and food merchandise and the parking this one's included and they get just the dedicated entrance um i think my favorite out of all these options even after the first set of options would it be the middle pass for the one just to the right of the five-day multi-day ticket because you get six reservations 
it's only $600, which is like the same as a flex pass when it was first introduced. 50% off parking, I'll take that. For $600, I'll do 50% off parking. That's what? 25 divided by 2 is like $12.5, $13. But then the rewards, rewards programs included a dedicated entrance and a limited photo pass. I don't want really to use photo pass, so that doesn't matter to me. Oh, but max pass isn't included. Ooh, I don't know. I like max pass. I do like max pass definitely much more than photo pass. Uh, maybe part of the rewards program you get max pass. <laughs> Who knows? And the two tickets included for the family and friends. I like that one a lot. Um, so, so far that is my favorite. Definitely let me know your favorite below. There's one more set of options that we're going to discuss here. And we're going to get to that right now. And last but not least, this set of options um, includes pass, again, three passports and a three-day multi-visit ticket and a one-day, one, two, and three-day tickets. Three-day multi-visit tickets, the same as the other multi-visit tickets. Four-month reservation windows, and of course, same four-month reservation windows for the one, two, and three-day tickets. But getting to the three passports, this option to the far left includes 90 days, four reservations held at a time. Again, six, any time reservations for you per year, still confusing to me. One blockout day, but no family and friends tickets for either of these guys. And 10, and 10 20, and 30% um, percent off for the event food and merchandise and stuff. 20% discount for parking, but this one does include Max Pass, Unlimited Photo Pass, and still that dedicated entrance. And there's also a child price here. There wasn't a child price in the other options. Very interesting. Um, and the passport in the middle looks like 90 days. Six reservations held at a time, but this time you have no anytime reservations. I don't think I like that. Um, two blockout days, though, so that's pretty cool. And, again, the same 30, 10, 20 for the merchandise discounts. This time the parking is included. But for a supposed $1,400 price, I'd probably want an anytime reservation. Next one, you get four anytime reservations per year, 60 days reservation window, one blockout day, no special event discount, but you get discounts on the other things, and parking is not included. Interesting. Okay, so I see you can kind of get a gist of what's going on here, or what they're offering. But, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm down with this. I like this. If this is what they're considering, like a mix or match, if they're going to mix, they can bind some of these together and do maybe, it looks like they're going to do three passport tiers, basically. Um, One would probably like, they'll all be like flex passes, but be, you know, flex light, flex medium, and flex premier or something. I don't know what it would be called, but... This membership program it looks, I'm, it looks pretty promising. I, I can, I'm, I'm like I, again. I really like the things like the rewards program. A dedicated entrance seems kind of cool, as long as max pass and, and I like the, you know, the discount off parking. That I like how it's not either just included or not included. Some pass options will hopefully have like you know, twenty, fifty percent, and I really like the bring a family and friend ticket as well. But what do you guys think of these passport options? Again, nothing is definite. These are just this is just a survey, um, seeing what guests may like or past former pass holders may like when they get this new membership program that hopefully will roll out later this year or even next year. But let me know what your favorite features and options are, and the prices and everything. And what do you want, or do you just really want your annual pass program back? And you're like, to heck with this membership thing. I want my annual pass back let me know in the comments below if you like this video press the thumbs up subscribe for more theme park updates and as always have a fantastic day